it's weekend build time. This weekend we are going to build us a tiny little plastic tank. This is by Zenshi Hobbies and it's a little tank from the Metal Slug game series which I know nothing about but hey it's a cool little tower tank with a whole bunch of rivets and I love me some rivets. You can see here all the pieces of the kit laid out. We have about 20 pieces. We got decals, we got stickers, we got a tiny little rubber man. So let's finally get to the build. We're going to be doing a basic build on this kit. Nothing fancy, so if you're not familiar with plastic model kit building, you should be able to follow along first thing to do is to remove all the pieces from the sprue you can do this one at a time building as you go or this kit is simple enough you can just take them all off at once it's up to you next we cement them together with our Tamiya extra thin plastic cement we just have to run a small bead down the seam lines and press firmly together and please, for dear God, do not use super glue to put together your plastic models. Plastic cement, much cleaner, easy to clean up sand. Uh, it's not going to leave globs of hard material that you have to try to scrape away. That's going to ruin your paint job. Build portion is the easiest part. You can see here, here's everything assembled into sub-assemblies for our eventual painting. Off to the airbrush booth to put on our base coat really is the best way to paint plastic models using an airbrush. Use it if you got it. If you don't, spray cans are second best and followed by, at the bottom, brush painting. After a gray primer coat, which some people consider optional, I don't, however. always love to primer my kits and miniatures. But after that, we put down a base coat of uh, Vallejo model color camo olive green. We are just going to do a small amount of highlighting, and because the model is so small and so textured, dry brushing is perfectly acceptable for this. We just want to really pick out those rivets and pick out those edges, so not a whole lot to highlight. First beginning with Russian uniform, and we're using a big brush with just a hint a taste of paint on it and then a mix of Russian uniform and dead flesh for a second even lighter dry brushing coat. For our tank treads all we are going to do is using our black primer as our base coat i'm just going to give them an easy dry brush of Leho panzer aces dark rubber next comes our masking there is a big red stripe going around our tank so we're gonna paint that there are decals and stickers in the kit if you want to do that instead but paint is always better and there is a nice obvious line of where we need to tape off so we're just going to go around the kit now and tape off as needed for the more difficult curves it's much easier just to tape over them and then using a toothpick or some semi-sharp tool uh, trace out the lines of where the tape needs to go and then using a very fine brand new exacto knife carefully cut away the tape. Back to the airbrush booth to spray our Tamiya flat red. Pressure is low. I got about 12 PSI, carefully doing about three coats to get a nice rich red color. And by the way, at least my personal experience is no matter how well you tape something up, there's still going to be some leakage. So don't be surprised when you pull off that tape and find that you need to go back and do a little bit of touch-up work. For some areas, it's just much easier to paint by hand rather than going through the masking and airbrushing steps. For example, this tiny little X piece here. The only thing you want to remember is keep that paint thin, build up 
the coats because brush strokes are going to show up very very easy on a flat smooth surface so it took me about three coats very carefully hand painting this and slowly building up our black color. There is a few other areas on the model that also need to be painted with black. Once again, I'm doing that by hand. Now we could use enamel washes for this. However, I'm trying to keep this build fairly simple here. So just acrylic paint works fine for our little tank and our weekend build. If your hand's not that steady, you can try adding a little bit of glaze medium to your paint to slow down the dry time, give you time to fix mistakes. Also try varnishing the model first with gloss varnish. Uh, that helps to slow down the amount of time it takes the paint to really stain the surface. So a little bit of extra cleanup time may help you. A few of the little odds and ends on our kit are also detailed. A little bit of dark rubber for our wheels. Not bothering to highlight or anything like that. Since this is a cartoony model, just a base coat is perfectly fine. As well as a little bit of pale yellow for our spotlight. Getting close to the end, however, I decided that the rivets were just a little bit too shallow looking. So I decided to go back, give them one extra highlight, mix of model colors Russian green and green gray, just to make them really pop and let you know that they are there. Final thing to do before our flat varnish is to do some black lining and that's going to really make our cartoon look pop, that really hard edge of black. And for that, just using black paint, once again, could use enamel washes for this, but uh, keeping it simple. And we have black paint and we have it thinned with a little bit of glaze medium. As I mentioned earlier, that will slow down the dry time, so if there's any little mistakes, we can just quickly wipe them away. And once again, if your hand's a little bit shaky, go ahead and gloss varnish the model first. And there we go, that is our Metal Slug X. I'm gonna get the name wrong, Sarubia. Close as I can get without looking it up. A fun little easy one or two day project. And look at that, we got a cute little chibi looking tower tank. Great thing about model building and painting miniatures, you can do it your own way. So if you want to, you can take this exact same kit and weather it and put scratches all over it and make it look as realistic as you want, or you can just build it quickly and retain that cartoon look. Totally up to you, do whatever you want. Wanted to keep this build fairly simple, and that's what I did. If you prefer the complex builds, well, don't worry, those are on the way. They just take a long, long time. But until then, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Praise the truck farmer. Bow down before him. Worship the truck farmer at the church of your choice. Offer burnt sacrifices to the almighty truck farmer. Help. Help.